Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can download the building footprint data for your region of interest using Google Earth Engine and later visualize it, visualize it using QGIS. So this open buildings data set has recently been released by Google and it contains the building footprints or polygons. Actually these are the shapes of these buildings and which can be used for you know uh, social good applications, air quality studies, population analysis and etc. So in this tutorial, uh, in the first step we will download uh, the building footprint data for, a re for our region of interest and in this example it's going to be Munar which is a hill station in the Indian state of Kerala and uh, Actually, uh, I'm having the shapefile of Monar with me. So first of all, I will import the shapefile into Google Earth Engine and run this chunk of code, which will give me the building footprint of that specified region, and which will be downloaded in GeoJSON format. And later, I'll visualize it using QGIS. So let's begin our tutorial now. First of all, you need to go to Google Earth Engine and in the platform you can select code editor you should be having a valid google earth engine account if you're not having one just create one it's free so in my code editor i'm going to add a script and open building so this script i have already written with which you can download the building footprint for any region of interest uh, there are actually two methods to do this the first one is going to be uh, if you select if you know your region and you are not having a shape file of that region then you can simply choose either draw a rectangle tool or draw a shape tool so i'm going to select the draw a shape tool and randomly select a you know region that's it so while i'm selecting it get it got automatically uploaded into the script section and here you need to make a small change which is going to be change the variable name into roi region of interest that's it so now if i run this code what's going to happen is that uh, the earth engine will extract the building polygons or building footprint falling in this particular you know region and it will be you know uh, exported into your Google Drive account and from there you can download it into your PC and then visualize it using QGIS so I'm not going to do this now because I'm already having the shapefile of my study area so first you need to upload that shapefile into your Google Earth Engine cloud and for that go to asset click new and here you can see an option to download the upload the shapefiles and click select and see the shape file is this one but you need to upload the supporting uh, files as well then click open and click upload so it's going to take some time let's wait okay now the uploading has been completed and let's take a look at our shape file if you, you can click refresh and let's see if it has you know become available here yeah it's there if you click the shape file you can uh, actually see it uh, it's supposed to uh, be visible here uh, that's fine we can close it and now we have to add our shape file into the script section for that uh, you just have to click import into script uh, button and if you click it, your shape file will be added to the, you know, the script section. And here again, you have to change the name of the variable into a variable ROI. And that's it. That's the only thing you have to do. And if you click run, and you know, there's a new task has been created, created and you have to click run again. And the task name is going to be Moonar building footprint and the file name the GeoJSON file name is also going to be the same and now if I click run what's going to happen is that um, all buildings falling under the specified shape file will be extracted by the earth engine algorithm 
and uh, will be stored in your Google Drive account and from Google Drive account you can download it. I have already explained this. So let's wait for a while now. It's been completed now and if you check your Google Drive you can see okay it has become visible here this is going to be our GeoJSON uh, file containing the building footprint data for Muna region you just have to click and download it uh, it's getting downloaded now I think let's wait for a while okay so our downloading has been completed now what we have to do is you can drag and drop all these files into your QGIS first of all I'm going to drag and drop the shape file of my study area and then I'll drag and drop the you know building footprint data uh, it's almost 26 MB the building footprint data so it's making my system slow so as you can see the buildings are getting appeared here one by one and if you zoom in you can see the shapes of this building they are densely clustered in some regions whereas not so much clustered in others you can see they are of different different shapes okay now I'm going to change the fill color of my shape file into Uh, blue I mean green and also I will change the color of the buildings by going to the properties going to simple fill and here I will choose red click apply and okay now you can see your buildings are appearing in red color you can see these densely clustered uh, these regions having a high density buildings are actually small towns within the Muna region and now we can uh, do another thing you have to go and add a open street base map to your study area go to uh, quick map services OISM then select OISM humanitarian and you can reduce the opacity of the base map so that it will be having a better appearance when you create the final map so here you have to go to a new print layout to create the you know map and if you click uh, add map option here and drag and drop uh, your map will become this map will become visible here you can see it's there so next what you can do is you can add grids add coordinates and all and I have explained all those procedures in a separate video before so you do check that video I have also given the link to that video in the description below so that's it this is how you create a, a building footprint map using uh, Google Earth Engine and QGIS so that's it thanks for watching